Hey guys, today I'm going to be reading you a beautiful illustrated graphic novel book by the legendary Mobius and Alejandro Jodorowsky. If you are not familiar with either of these incredible creators work, uh, I would highly recommend that you go check it out. I'm going to jump into this video very quickly and we're going to get into the read out loud and then I'm going to give you my thoughts and feelings on the story and on what this is communicating. It was published by Humanoids and uh, it was written I believe in the 1970s. I hope that you enjoy The Eyes of the Cat. Ah, I can feel the heat. Mm. Finally, a morsel of sunlight. At the ready, Medutes, he nears. I hear his poor steps. Now he appears. Now, Medutes, now. Dive. Bravo, Medutes. Forget not to save me the eyes. Returning home. The eyes waiting. <laughs> Here we go. Handing them to his master. Beautiful. Ah, oh, a joy so marvellous. Ah, oh, this game that is sight. But next time, Medusa, the eyes of a child. So I hope that you enjoyed this beautiful illustrated masterpiece. Now this is not a conventional book by any means. This book in itself is what I would refer to as alchemical art. So it's asking you to partake and participate in a story as it's unfolding. And it's not spoon feeding it to you like a baby. 
you're going along the journey that is taking place with the arc of the story, which is the beginning, the middle and the end, and we see the outcome. And it is brutal, it is gruesome, and there are elements to this that are a little bit shocking. But I feel like if you know Jodorowsky well, then you'd know that this is very much like his sense of dark, nor kind of um, macabre storytelling. And it's kind of questioning you to see who really is the victim or the villain here in the story. And the illustrations and the panels are done so well. If you can see here, we've got this one panel here on the side where we see the, the backlit version of what is happening in the tower where the man is waiting or the wizard is waiting. And then as we see when the, when Medusa, the beautiful eagle returns, we see the changes that are happening from the angle as it's taking place in live time. So you've got these two angles that are both simultaneously coexisting in the story. So we see the narration and we see the outcome. This is a very interesting um, novel. Well, not novel, but I just like this kind of work. I find it so brilliant and I really appreciate the beauty of the lack of words. We don't need a lot of words for this book because the illustrations are telling us what's going on. We can see what's going on. So let's go back to the start. We see this kind of futuristic world, very avant-garde. If you know um, Mobius, that's the type of style that he does. It's just legendary work. He also worked on a series called The Inkle, which was very famous. And Alejandro and him worked also on June, which was the film that kind of was never made. And uh, it's just very kind of symbolic of changing a viewpoint of something, but yet telling us a story. And I see a lot of June in this. I mean, we don't know where this landscape is, but if you, we can feel that it's run down, it's broken, everything's kind of smashed and it's futuristic. So it's somewhere way in the future, kind of post-apocalyptic even where it's like we've got walls that are all exposed, it's all broken down. When I look at the the period or place that this is, it's somewhere very hot. I feel like this city that this is all taking place is, it's like a hot summer's day. And one of these towers is where the, the person, the magician, the sorcerer is waiting. And it could just be a being that has a connection to his animal, that is enabling his animal to fly out into this world and collect something and bring it back for him. We see this um, overcast light, if you've ever been outside much and it's overcast and it's that really sticky, hot feeling. That's the texture that this story gives me. And a beam of light's kind of breaking down and it's hitting into the street. And we see it's hit here. And it's just, you just see this illuminating this space, which is calling and he can sense that. He can sense that the light is calling the cat to come out of the street, to come out of its hiding spot. All these little bits of broken bits of pipes and machines and it's really interesting. And the cat wants to come out into the light to get some warmth because cats like the sun. But of course, he's seeing that that's an opportunity and he senses that and the cat kind of takes the bait and goes into the center of the exposed area in the, in the street, in this little kind of alleyway, in this futuristic world. And then of course, Medusa heads out on his mission for his master. He's only obeying or doing what he's instructed to do. And the artwork of the movement here that we've got going on, which is just beautiful. It's coming down the pen work here. It, and it looks so simple, but if you guys know how to, you know, you know much about art or how to paint and draw, this is not a simple thing to achieve. This is just, um, it's so well done and the use of the bold, lighting here that we've got with this is very imprinted and very strong we can see what's happening in the fright on the cat's face realizing as the the um as the eagle's landing we see this victory shot we see that it is achieved so he gets to eat but he also has to collect the eyes and bring the eyes back and the whole time the sorcerer or the man in the tower is telepathically connected to Medusa. And of course he rips out the eye. This is quite a graphic thing. But you know, this is the thing about life and nature. This this unfolds every every millisecond of the day, of every every moment in nature. Nature is brutal, it's unforgiving. We can't sugarcoat stuff, you know. 
Um, sometimes when I watch Natural Geographic shows and they like call animals names and stuff, I think it's just, um, it's trying to, I understand the sympatheticness of it, of trying to make us feel sorry for it, but that's the balance of life and death. This is the world that we're in. You know, eyes get ripped out, animals eat other animals. And then of course he's coming back and he's flying back and we see the sky has changed and we get this really beautiful widescape shot of the angle of looking up towards the sky and we see Medusa flying back. It's beautifully done. And it's like a storm's kind of coming through now over the city. And uh, you can see the city there. It's all just so, it's just brilliant. Like this, this is just so brilliant. This is such a great, simple and powerful you know, the domination of the contrast here of the light and the dark, it's very strong. And here's the angle of him returning back to his master, glorious sight that he is awaiting, he needs to see. Beautiful. Um, this is very reminiscent of the movie The Fifth Element. If you think of like Lilu, that scene where she goes out onto the side of the building, this is very Mobius, very Alejandro Jodorowsky, handing him his master, handing the master his you know, prize that he collected. We see the willingness of wanting to put the, the cat's eyes into his eyes so he can see through another being's eyes. This is alchemical art. It is shifting consciousness into another state of being. And this is the type of art that I'm interested in doing and I'm trying to really convey in my kid's book that I'm working on, which is the boy who lived inside a volcano. And he's putting the eyes in. We can see that leaning forward. This is actually being converted into an animated um, short film, I believe, that started in just last year in 2020. So it would be really interesting to see what they come up with for the layouts and stuff like that. We see the joy. He's got the eyes in. He can see. You know, this is some really <laughs> witchy, magical stuff. And it's the, the wonder there of the game of sight. And then he sends Medusa back out into the city. It's a great shot here, a lot of movement happening. And the, um, look at these fingers are just, isn't that just creepy? It's really interesting. And there he is, but next time the eyes of a child. So Medusa is soaring off, looking and searching. And that's kind of the story back to a nice, simple thing. This was published by Humanoids and it came out in 2013. So yeah, it's really, really cool. I really enjoy this type of uh, looking at something from a different point of view. It's very compelling and it brings me in. And it's an unexpected story. It's something that we wouldn't necessarily like see or, you know, sometimes wouldn't may not be drawn to. But that's what this is. It's a graphic novel and it is weird. It's fantastical. And that's Mobius. And I hope that you enjoyed this graphic novel. Um, I was gifted this for my birthday a few years ago. And um, yeah, if you get the chance, maybe it's a, it's a really cool gift for someone that you know who might be into something like this or might enjoy the work of these two incredible artists. And just the fact that they collaborated together to do these short stories is just so well done. Mwah, chef's kiss. So I hope that you enjoyed today's book read and a bit of a bit of a look at the eyes of the cat. And uh, yeah, take care. Bye.